To integrate an on-form payment processor with your form, we need to add credit card information fields. If you click on the credit card field under the Form Builder Tools, you will see that the label is already set and certain credit cards are already selected. If you don't wish to accept one of those credit cards, you can uncheck the box. I'm going to make this field required. You will also see the option to add an expiration date field and a card verification code field. You will need these to map to the payment processor integration settings later, so we'll go ahead and add them now. After you click Save, you'll notice the credit card information fields go to the bottom of your form. If you click on the credit card verification code field, you will notice that we use a short answer field. You might think, why not use a number field? Well, a number field will not accept zero as the first digit, and many card verification codes begin with zero, so we must use a short answer field in order to allow for zero to be added as the first digit. You will notice the red error message on the credit card field when you first add it. This is because we have not yet set the proper security settings or added our payment processor integration to the form yet. Next, we will go ahead and add our security settings. Go to the Settings tab and click on Security. You can choose to use a password that will protect your form from any individual entering unless they know the password that you've set. That isn't necessary when taking on form payment. You must enable SSL if you are collecting sensitive information on your form. If you are having sensitive information emailed to you in a notification email, you will need to turn on PGP as well to encrypt the email messages. And if you choose to save the credit card numbers in your Formstack database, you will need to encrypt the saved data. If you choose to do this, you will have to set a password, which you must remember. If you lose your encryption password, we cannot reset it, and all your data must be deleted in order to reset the database. Next, make sure you save your settings. To add a payment processor integration to your form, click on the Integration Hub tab, and then Payments, to find the proper integration. I'm going to add PayPal Pro as my on-form payment processor. Click Add to add the integration and type in the required information. Next, you must set the transaction information. First, choose whether you would like one-time payments or subscriptions or recurring payments. Next, you must choose single item or multiple items. If you choose to map multiple items, you must have a separate price field on your form for each item. I'm going to choose single item since I have a total field on my form which calculates my multiple products. You can select an item name. It presets it to the name of the form. Next, you must map to your price field. I don't have a quantity field to map when I am mapping to my total field because the quantity is already calculated into that amount. You can also choose to add a shipping or handling charge, tax, or an item description that will appear in the transaction details in your payment processor. I will set my currency to US dollars and you can choose to add an invoice number if you'd like. Next, we must map to the credit card fields on our form. The next fields are optional. If you would like to send the customer information over to your payment processor, you can do so by mapping the fields here. You will notice that they are already pre-mapped when you add the integration, but to unmap them, you can just set it back to Select Field. The information will always be available in the Formstack database should you need to reference it. If you would like to allow the submission to enter the Formstack database even if their payment fails for any reason, you can check this box. If you allow for this, notification and confirmation emails will be sent when the data enters the database. If you leave it unchecked, notification and confirmation emails will only be sent if the payment is successful and the submission is added to the database. If you'd like to receive an email if the integration fails, you can add your email address in the box at the end of the integration settings. 
make sure you save your settings. Once you have added the integration to your form, individuals will be prompted to add their billing information to the form and payment will be processed upon submission.